so uh post time uh, editing service here um i do not know why my audio was as bad as it was in this one i hope i correct this in the future fair that the first thing we talk about is uh EO. um now for those who remember a a, a user named rev says desu uh made a video on me talking about uh me and monica and the things we said about hololive uh on twitch now or on twitter now this is in the same realm but a little different we have a VTuber who normally talks about uh, VTuber news stuff, and I seem to have appeared there. So we are going to go ahead and talk about that after we get into the fan art section as per usual. So the first bit of fan art we have here is from Mathematical Cabbage. Felt like we needed some slime boy milk marketing with and without text. Don't question how it's made. Don't worry. It's fresh. <laughs> I really really like i really really like this artwork i'm not gonna lie there's another one from mathematical cabbage that we're gonna be getting to in a few episodes that uh i also really really enjoy where it's a a shiny version of slime girl service the next one we have here is from loki the tired trickster my brain decided that blizzy should steal the service hood but as i drew it i couldn't decide if it was a hood or a tent so i have both I used the asset on the desk of the stream as a reference, so it probably looks a lot like Yara Koro's asset. References are always okay, but we have Big Hood and Blizzy-sized hood. I think canonically, Blizzy steals the hood, and it's this big on them, and then I get him a little hood because he deserves the best, and obviously he wanted the hood. The last one we have here is from Raging Horse Girl, says, I love to do fan art. Well, I am very appreciative of any and all fan art that comes my way. As always, thank you all for the fan art submissions. If you want your fan art to be shown in a future episode, the best way to do so is to drop it into the fan art section of the Discord. With that said, let's get right into things, but not before doing the usual plug and play. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. If you haven't hit the bell notification icon, that would be absolutely wonderful. And if you haven't checked out Patreon, I do a lot of behind the scenes stuff over there, and that would be excellent to see you on. But with that said, let's go ahead and take a look at the episode itself. She's under attack. As for our first topic today, we're gonna go ahead and look over at Yuri from Face Connect, who on the 8th of this month made this tweet here saying, I'm sorry, but I do not understand VTubers who have no interest or especially have a dislike of anime subculture. So I, I'll go ahead and I, I can go ahead and contextualize this one. Anime subculture and anime are two different things. They're two very different things. I can love anime and hate anime subculture. There's a version of anime subculture that exists when you go to conventions, uh, and that is typically a very nice, very fun, uh, very wholesome environment for most people to be in. Uh, and then, of course, there's the variant, the lovely variant of anime subculture that you get to be uh, introduced to in toxic places like Twitter and YouTube comment sections, where actually no uh, i stop enjoying that subculture despite being a huge fan of anime and i know somebody can pop in and give their usual gatekeepy nonsense of you're not a true anime fan if you haven't seen the original dubbing of akira and the original even galia some somebody doing that like right you've got obviously the the person who's going to go like if you haven't seen all of these shows from uh the early 90s that have been foundational to anime then you're not a real anime fan or the people who say that if you haven't seen the most recent good Seasonal anime is you're not a real anime fan. Either way, either side of that argument, I, I think is dumb and stupid. Uh, people liking things is fine. Just let people like things. If they say, hey, I'm a fan of a thing, they don't need to contextualize to you what makes them a true blue fan. And even if they did or didn't, you, you gain nothing from it. But let's go to continue. So, you know, like you can love anime and dislike anime subculture. Uh, and as a result, like anime style VTubers. That's that's fine. 
Twitter. And we covered some of the things that this tweet was talking about when it was initially made. However, recently people have been really angry with the tweet and people quote retweeting it. But this person here is saying the replies in this tweet are exactly why I moved away from the anime style of my models. I don't want people like this to be in my community like bruh, Yuri is chill though, just could have worded it differently. All right, so this I believe uh, is the tweet that was said by my friend Monica, actually. Um, Monica had said this because Monica has moved her models away from the more anime aesthetic with the big round eyes uh, to a more realistic aesthetic, uh, something that looks like it would be in a AAA game. That change was made by her because uh, a lot of this community is very, very, it is very, very toxic. Like, again, you can love anime. You can adore anime, but the community that builds itself around that can be toxic. And this is not unique to the anime community. I know somebody's going to come in like they did on my Lolly community video uh, and say, this can be said about multiple different, uh, th multiple different things. This isn't unique. Cool. You're right. My point was never that it's unique that this type of toxicity is unique to one fandom or another. I am in a lot of fandoms that have an incredible amount of toxicity about them. The Undertale fandom has a lot of incredibly toxic people in the pro and anti-ship sides of things. The Steven Universe fandom literally bullied somebody to almost commit suicide because of fan artwork of all things. The Sonic the Hedgehog fandom is one of the most persnickety fandoms that cannot be pleased no matter what you do in any capacity whatsoever. The Yu-Gi-Oh! fandom is a group of elitist assholes, and the Magic the Gathering fandom cannot decide uh, if certain cards are, are good, bad, or unhealthy for the format based entirely on whether or not they own the cards they're talking about. Every community has its problems. Every community has its toxic people. I'm in the League of Legends community, for, uh, for fuck's sake. But this is why, for instance, I can love League of Legends, love Yu-Gi-Oh, love Magic the Gathering, uh, and then point out that these communities I'm not a huge fan of. I love Steven Universe. I think it's a wonderful show, despite some of the strange things that they do with the characters later on in the show. However, the Steven Universe community is, by and large, a talk successful that I will stay very far away from. All of them. This is a problem that happens when most communities get uh, get particularly large. And if that community is large and also marginalized, then this problem compounds itself. That's a perfectly valid reason to not want to be associated with the community anymore. We also had this person here quote retweeting it, telling people to go support the person that quote retweeted Yuri's tweet. Saying that so, yeah, that one was me check the quote retweets on her thing she's angered the lollycons we had someone else quote retweeting this saying she angered the main audience in which that person responded all five of you and then we had someone else jumping in saying four million but in a year or so five million yes showing off gargara's channel which is currently at four million subscribers on youtube huge congratulations to her by the way but that person responded to it saying so all four million of gurr's fans are lollycons is that your argument and we had the person responding again saying an apex of vtubing is a Lollycon with 4 million people that support her. Not all of them are Lollycons, but do support her knowing what she is. That's enough people to form a nation. Also, Gur is what an average VTuber aspires to be, so know your place in the world, trash. And so the person quote retweeted that response saying, the goalpost moves to Gura being a Lollycon, still need evidence that Gur is fixated on young children, none is presented. Also, Gur is what all VTubers aspire to be? Hardly. I like independence where I can get it, and having my entire persona owned by whole life is a no-go so we basically just have people attacking gargara for being a lolly slash lolly con her wait a minute hold on we have a problem here uh keo where where did that part happen when did when did that happen I i'm curious because this feels like you're just paraphrasing what rev says desu said which would be understandable if you were a channel that typically just parrots his content, but I don't think that's what you do, right? So why is it that a thing that I didn't say, and most people in this thread did not say, in fact, most people in that thread, including me, are supportive of Gara. Gargura. <laughs> Somebody in the comments mentioned that uh, when I said her name quickly, it sounded like I just said Gara. 
So I'm just going to do that every now and again just to trip people up. But anyway, it's very weird to me that despite none of what you said I said being what I said, you still said I said it. Who's attacking Gura here? Who actually is attacking Gura? Self. Also attacking other people in the community for supporting Gargura and supporting Lolly Creators. Also who here is attacking Lolly Creators? And who here is attacking people for supporting Gara? Where is that happening? Now, if you had shown some tweets that actually showed that, maybe that would make sense. I could understand that. But the actual tweets that you showed also, uh, let's get Dave Abbott. Thank you very much for redeeming your points. For an ada ada, you fucking degenerate. But also, maybe if 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 somebody who you showed had actually attacked Gara or her fans, that would be one thing. I like that there's no comment about somebody calling somebody else trash on the internet, just pandering to the toxic side of the the argument. Whereas the side of the argument that's just saying like, hey, I need evidence of this thing. Uh, that side is magically the one that is somehow attacking people. Yeah, the straw man's continue. Again, this is this literally is just a paraphrasing of the fucking Rev says Desu video. Have these people even watched your response? They don't even have to watch my response. That's the thing. That's the thing. None of them have to watch my response video. Because what's demonstrated repeatedly here is an inability to read. A flat out inability to actually read the words on the screen that don't say what they say they say. Yes, I have a video response that goes into the details on how I feel about this entire thing, but that's not required reading for this conversation. Required reading for this conversation would just be the shit on the screen. I can't give more required reading when obviously green eggs and ham is too much. Also, the fact that this person doesn't realize most VTubers do aspire to be as big as Gargura one day is insane to me. Hmm, hold on. The fact that this person doesn't realize that a lot of VTubers, hold on. So while the original tweet, uh, the one that I'm responding to, did say most VTubers and I, as an idiot, moved the goalpost to what all VTubers aspire to be. Now that we're there, obviously my argument is about all VTubers. Even if we incorrectly got there because this was a goalpost move on my part because I can't fucking read. So now, Keo, I have a question. Um, at what point in this tweet does it look like I don't think that most VTubers would want to be like Gargara? I know a lot of VTubers who put in their applications for VShoujo. I know a lot of VTubers who would be fine being under that corporate label. I, I completely understand that. My point is that I don't want to be. I don't want to do that. And I don't think all VTubers want to do that either. Do most? I don't know. I have no way of quantifying that. Nor do you. You don't have to aspire to be exactly like Gargura on your whole life. Most of us just aspire to be at her size one day and to reach as large. Okay, so that's a, that's a different thing though. There's a difference between wanting to be a channel with five, four to five million subscribers and a channel that is owned by a corp. Those are two different things. Now we're making arguments that aren't even stated. Large of an audience as she does. We did have people saying, I don't know if Gura is a lolicon, but she does like lewd art of herself. But we also had this person saying, it isn't just Gura. This image is kind of outdated too. I know Nene was simping hard for one in a gacha game a few months back, showing a screenshot of multiple whole alive members basically admitting to being a lolicon and enjoying lolly art. People try and make the argument that people that like lollies or are lolicons are fixated on young children, but that is entirely incorrect. But are the lolly characters portrayed as young children? The fixation doesn't have to be sexual and it doesn't have to be pedophilia, but if the character is coded to be a child, 700 year old dragon or not, the fixation is on a child character. 
Now, again, I could have worded the tweet better to say young children characters, young child characters, because that would be a more accurate statement. But the point, the fact of the matter is, we are still demonstrating the inability to read. That's all there really is to this story. It's just another instance of Twitter being dumb and attacking Gargura for being a lolly for no reason at all. Again, who who attacked Gara? Kyo, I'm sorry, but for this to be a, a, a good take, a good news bit, I would have had to say the thing you said I said. And yet, I don't seem to have said the thing you said I said. And yeah, it's weird to me that I'm I'm covering this topic now for a third time. But it's also strange to me that some of the most exposure I've gotten in the law and not the lolly community, uh, that too, apparently. Uh, but the VTuber community is news coverage. About this shit. Which is. Just just weird. Just weird. But, 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 is there any else in here that I care about or is, is the rest of it just news about other stuff? Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation though. I, I already let, I already let him know my thoughts in the comment section. Okay, so that's, that's the end of the topic there. The other stuff is about other VTuber drama stuff that I just don't care about. I just don't care about. There's new members of, you know, there's a new member of V Shoujo. That's neat. I don't care past that point. Is it basically they're saying Sarah said something you didn't say? Yeah. Yeah. Because it, it, it's, it, it astounds me. In a tweet that never attacked Gura, Gara, Gura, Gora, in a tweet that never attacked her, Somehow, every video that gets made on that topic says that I did? I don't know how to feel about that. I don't. But, eh. Eh. VTuber drama channels are super weird about making shit up. I don't know if this is standard for Keo. I don't. And maybe they'll see this video and go, oh, shit, you're right. I just report on dumb shit on the Internet or you're right. I can't read or you're right. I didn't read it correctly, much like I did. Like I didn't read the tweet that I responded to correctly. And that's how we got some of this in the first place. So we're just going to keep that train rolling, I guess. But. OK, guys, come on now. Come on, stop. Growlithe and Chip are just being absolute dummies with each other. <laughs> Never attacked Agraria. <laughs> How many more rounds? I don't know. I don't know. How many more times is this going to be in somebody's weird news cycle saying things I didn't say? Hmm. I don't know. Anyways, let's go ahead and wrap this one up. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I don't have much more to say on it, so... I've said my piece. As always, everybody, if you enjoyed the content, let me know down there. Hit the like button if you haven't already. Subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, insert end the video tagline here.